Toyota is saying, guys, that its new six-speed manual transmission for electric cars, by the way, I should make out that, just remind you that less than 5% of Toyota's gasoline petrol-powered cars are using a manual or stick shift worldwide. But anyway, it's invested a lot of money into its manual and stick shift transmission for EVs, and it's saying that it feels exactly like it does in a gasoline-powered car. Now, I should point out, this doesn't seem to be possible in my opinion because, well, electric cars, they don't even need a transmission. So you have instant torque. All the torque is available instantly. Um, that's why a lot of Tesla owners complain of shredding their tires too quickly and easily. They like to drive them fast because it's so easy to drive them fast. So in an internal combustion engine vehicle, you have to raise the revs, right? And you feel the revs going up, 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 and then all of a sudden you shift and then the revs go back down and then up again. So Toyota is saying it has replicated that scenario of revs going up and then changing gears and then revs going down and then revs going back up. Somehow it's replicated that scenario in a stick shift manual transmission. So it's been able to use some sort of tricky software to give you the jerky feeling. It's quite a jerky feeling when you think about it of an internal combustion engine vehicle. It, it appears as though Toyota believes that this is a positive not as I would contend a negative. Now Toyota's sales of electric cars are way behind many of its competition. In China, for example, where Toyota does have a, in fact, it's got three different electric car cars for sale in China, but none of them sell. I mean, literally there's almost zero demand for those EVs. One of those is the Toyota BZ4X. It's very cheap. At a lot of dealerships in China, you can buy them for 20,000 US dollars, which is, I mean, come on. That price is so low. In Australia, they cost, they're meant to be costing about 80,000 Australians. So they're meant to be costing about 60,000 US dollars. So it's about a third of the price in China is what it's going to be in Australia. In other words, they're selling them at a loss in China, but no one's buying them. Same thing with the new Toyota BZ3, which is essentially a rival to a Tesla Model 3, very similar size, but that isn't selling as well. In fact, it's hard to find the sales numbers because it doesn't rank in the top 50 best-selling electric cars in China, the top 50. Anyhow, Toyota clearly believes if it can offer a manual transmission or a stick shift to its EVs, it will have a point of difference, and therefore buyers will want to buy its electric cars. Last year, only 0.2%, 0.2% of Toyota's vehicle sales worldwide were fully electric cars. But Toyota believes that that's because EVs are just not fun enough. If you put a transmission in them, uh, give it the artificial feeling of revs going up and down, then they'll sell more, apparently. Personally, I don't think that is going to work. I don't think the average person cares about any of that. I think the average person thinks, well, the great thing about an EV is you don't need a transmission. Like Elon Musk said, the best part is no part, nothing to break. Now, keep in mind, I personally think if the transmission in one of your, if you are if you buy a Toyota EV and it comes with one of these manual transmissions or stick shift, as you guys call it in the US, I think if you broke it, probably wouldn't matter. I mean, it doesn't actually do anything. It's just a toy and you can actually change it and it doesn't really do anything. It's just software. So I think what Toyota is saying is you can turn this off in your car. Just drive it normally if you want to. Just drive it like a, a no transmission gearbox. So you can just drive it like a single speed transmission or you can turn it on and play games with your with your stick shift to give you that kind of feeling. And the, Toyota's going to do this, right? They're not just going to give you a stick shift, not just going to give you a manual transmission. They're going to give you the noise to go with it. So whatever noise you want, you can just, you know, select that you want to have a Ford Mustang GT350R, you know, the one with a flat plane V8 crank, the flat plane crank, with that beautiful V8 noise, just, it does sound good, I've got to say. <laughs> Sounds amazing. You can, you know, just select the soft, download the software program for that and pipe that through your speakers, turn on your fake manual transmission, your fake shift, stick shift, and just pretend you're driving a Ford Mustang GT350R. And then when you don't feel like driving like that, you turn it off. That's the idea. Anyway. We've heard about Toyota's plans for a simulated manual transmission before, but only recently have Toyota let outsiders test the transmission. Apparently, outsiders are saying it works really well. The system is currently fitted to the Lexus UX 300E. It includes a clutch pedal. By the way, the clutch isn't real either. It's fake. So if you don't get it right, like you won't stall. 
you know, if you don't press the clutch in correctly, you won't stall it. That's one of the, I guess, the good things about it, but maybe the bad things because you you know uh, deep down you don't really need to press the clutch to tra- change the gears. It just works anyway. It also comes with a traditional rev meter. So you can see the revs going up and down. I'm pretty sure that would be fake though. It's just simulation. And it comes with a six speed stick shift in the console. There's no mechanical linkages whatsoever for these parts. Instead, they use sensors to mimic the feeling of driving a traditional manual. Just want to make that point very clear. There's no mechanical linkages whatsoever. It's purely a simulation. So yeah, it's like playing Gran Turismo, basically. Auto News tested out the system. They say it works just like an ordinary manual, except it's fake. They didn't say that. I just said it's fake because it's not working just like an ordinary manual. An ordinary manual, you know, you, you, you subconsciously know if you don't damn well get the clutch put in, you're going to grind the gear. You're going to, you're going to get that noise, right? It's not going to drive just like a manual transmission, but they're saying it feels like that anyway. That means it responds to bad inputs like insufficient use of the throttle and poor use of the clutch pedal. Not sure how it would respond because, you know, when you do that, it, like I said, in a normal vehicle and with a, with a stick shift, you do feel something, some kind of mechanical noise, like I'm wrecking the car. The system also interrupts torque while shifting and while we cannot imagine it taking off on a vehicle like the UX, it could be well suited to future electric sports cars from Toyota in the future like a potential production version of the FTSE. The FTSE was a, a supercar revealed by Toyota. It's just a concept though. Toyota haven't actually confirmed if they will make it. Be cool if they did. This isn't the only intriguing thing that Toyota engineers are working on to add some extra emotion to their electric cars. They say emotion is lacking. And if they can add emotion to EVs, then everyone will want their EVs and that will give them the ability to beat their rivals to potentially beat Tesla. By placing a small 3D printed scale model of an internal combustion engine powered Toyota model on the center console, the character of an RZ prototype can be changed completely. For example, when an engineer places a model of the Toyota Paso key car on the console, the RZ attempts to mimic the 90 horsepower car with fake sounds and weak acceleration. Interesting. The system also works when a model of a Tundra is positioned correctly. The RZ starts to sound like a turbocharged V6. I don't think they sound good personally, but anyway, and has simulated automatic shifts just like the pickup truck. The RZ test vehicle has even been designed to mimic a Lexus LFA with a screaming artificial V10 engine note and suspension that is automatically stiffened to maximize handling. I like the idea of that suspension. That's a good idea. And I have to admit the Lexus LFA with its V10, that that is a nice sounding engine. I'm personally not interested in fake noise in my EV, but I'm sure some people will be. Are these systems a gimmick? Are they something that would encourage you or your friends or people you know to buy a Toyota or Lexus electric vehicle over a rival? Let's say the rival car was a little bit better, but you didn't get the option of having uh, fake sounds and fake transmission and fake clutch. Would that encourage you to buy it? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for watching.